What's going on YouTube? Ronin Frog 87 here guys. And yeah, I know, I'm sorry, I'm a little late to the party, but you know, I got off of work a little while ago and I really couldn't see the ban list uh, you know, from the get-go, like a lot of uh, all the other YouTubers were able to, you know, everyone has already discussed it ad nauseum, but hey, you know, I love to discuss a ban list and so here we go. And when I first saw this ban list, you know, well actually what I got home from work, I got home, I ate, then you know, I <laughs> laid down on my bed got my cell phone out and like hmm what's new in the yugi tube world and then i see like a bunch of videos saying that oh you know emergency balance emergency balance emergency balance pepe down pepe is down for the count and i'm like what no no way could not me i couldn't have done this this early i know the ocg did it did it but <laughs> bitty, 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 bitty. <laughs> I know the OCG did it, but I wasn't expecting a ban list until, like, say, let's say March 1st, because, you know, that's our traditional ban list month. And besides, we're not that far away. Okay, we're a month away, you know. Uh, there's a few YCSs, of course, but I could I, I really thought Konami could have waited until March. But, but nope, we actually got an emergency ban list, and this is the third time in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. The third time in Yu-Gi-Oh! history that this has ever freaking happened. I think the first time, if I recall correctly, it was with Cyberstein. Way back in 06, and was SJC, now YCS, this is when we had Shonen Jump Championships. Shonen Jump Championship, uh, I believe it was San Jose, when Cyberstein got banned. And of course, when the emergency banned... Um, Dimension, I forgot the card's name, you know, the, the broken ass spell card, Dimension Fusion, something like that. I forget the card <laughs> during the Teledad, during the, not the Teledad, during the Return Dad format. And then, so yeah, um, this is just crazy. And just uh, to go over the the list briefly, or what they're calling it, an adjusted, an adjusted list, which takes effect on February 8th, so in five days from now. So plush wire banned, just like the OCG. A damage juggler banned, just like the OCG. Talame is banned, just like the OCG. And then Skulkerbat Joker to one. I'm not sure if they did anything to it on the OCG list. I forget. And then Monkey Board at one. And then Lust and then uh, Lester Pendulum is at one. And so, wow, guys, my face was when I first saw this list. My face was like just like this. <laughs> yeah, it was no kidding. Because I really couldn't believe that Konami would do this, you know. I guess Breakers of Shadow had its run already. I guess, you know, they sold it for a few weeks and they're like, eh, we sold enough packs and we needed we, we need people to play other stuff. And, you know, yeah, and the result is this list, which is just freaking crazy. And yeah, everyone's talking about how, you know, this is pretty obvious that it was going to happen, but... I didn't expect it to be an emergency balance. I could have seen this happening in March or, you know, something like that or April, but not, you know, an emergency balance, you know. And what does this mean for the rest of the meta? Is Pepe completely dead? I mean, remember when uh, when when they hit Dragon Rulers and they didn't completely kill Dragon Rulers? It, they had a they had to kill like Dragon Rulers a couple of they had to hit Dragon Rulers a couple of times before that deck was completely dead. That I just outright banned those guys <laughs> because of that one uh, XC's card. I forget the that one dragon. I forget the card name. God, I'm really bad with card names today. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is just so crazy. Um, you know, if it was if there wasn't gonna be an emergency ban, I thought it would have been like in the Dragon Ruler days. But nope. I guess this is like the first emergency ban we've had in years. And I and I was and as I was saying, what does this mean for the rest of the meta? Now that is Pepe really completely dead, or are they gonna start going back to magicians? Are they gonna play with Dra the Draco Slayer monsters? You know, like in the OCG, what was it the uh, uh, Dra uh, Slayer Pepe, whatever the fuck, the uh, Performa? I forgot the man. I am so bad with names today, but they call it Pedro, I think, or I would call it Pedro. You know, Pepe Pedro. Get it? Anyways. So, are they, is it going to have to evolve to stay meta relevant or is it completely dead? And then what does this mean for monarchs? You know, people have been saying, people are really like conflicted on monarchs. Some people are like, some people are saying that, oh, monarchs can be Pepe consistently. And now that Pepe is gone, they're going to run, they're going to rule the format. You know, the throne is for the taking. And so freaking the monarchs just took it right back. Or, you know, so and then Cosmos, you know, Dark Destroyer just went up in price. I'm going to do another video on that. But Cosmos, are they now the second best deck of the format now that Pepe is no, is gone now? Are they like, yes, you know, because 
for a while, for like you know when the monarch deck came out which was like last week uh it was like it was it looked like this format was just gonna be pepe and monarch and with cosmo placing at a distant third but now you know the opportunity is here and cosmo cosmo players you better make the most of this because who knows what who knows what the future holds because yeah make the most of it now that pepe is down if it is down and out just you know you better make the most out of it and this is crazy. So yeah, so yeah, like I was saying about the monarchs, are, are this people are really conflicted. Is it you know is it better than Pepe? Well, n now that's a moot point, I guess. Or is it like really bricky? Because a lot of people have been saying you know monarchs, you know they brick a lot, and so that really hurts the consistency. So we'll see going here from on out how this all plays out, and I can't wait to see how it plays out, you know, I can't wait to see if Pepe, you know, is really dead, or will it be resurrected in some other form, are people going to play other techs, are they going to play with magicians, are they going to play with some other cards, are Monarchs going to be the, you know, the undisputed champion of the, the rest of this format until whenever the next balance hits, and will Cosmos take this full opportunity to, like, really establish a foothold in this meta, it is going to be so freaking exciting, and I cannot wait. Alright guys, that was that's what I thought about this whole subject. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think. You know, like, comment, subscribe, do all that cool <laughs> do all that cool stuff. As always, I'm Ronan Frog87. I bid you farewell and I hope to see you guys on the next one.